Uh, one of the points that was made Liam, by the uh, British uh, television analysts was that um, United won't have to face anything like Real Madrid in the Premier League and of course that's self-evidently uh, true um, but uh, the, the point that was made there by you or John about um, bringing on uh, our friend from Belgium and uh, you know upsetting teams when they need to get change the rhythm and pattern of the game and it worked in a way because uh, you know they got a goal uh, that really uh, was worked um, by lumping the ball forward and getting on the end of it well, Fellaini, you know, as we know, you know, is very useful in those situations. He's a, he's a very good target man when he moves it. Very awkward for defences to mark, and probably a team like Real Madrid wouldn't be coming up against that very often. No. <laughs> um, so I think it is a tactic. I think Fellaini will figure a lot in Mourinho's plans this year, particularly if games are deadlocked. He has to resort to that because he has no... Guile in, in in the middle of the park, a player like Modric or Isco or or uh, even even Cruz, who's, who's he Cruz would easily be the best passer of the ball in the Man United team, you yeah. know. So uh, it, it's a worry, it's a worry, and uh, you know, again we've spoken about uh, uh, Mourinho and and does he fit the DNA of Manchester United? Does he fit the traditions of the club? And my opinion is he doesn't, and I think. That shared with a lot of Man United supporters, and they're not exactly being critical at the moment. But um, I don't think they appreciate the way this uh, this coach is, is wanting Man United to play. Yeah. Um